Hey everyone, and welcome back to a really special episode of Story Dose. Today we are reading one of, if not my favorite book of all time, The Giver by Lois Lowry. The segment of this book that we're actually reading today, though, has to do with when Jonas, the main character, receives the memory of love. They live in this dystopian society that's actually poised as being utopian, and they can't see color, they don't really, they have family structures, but they don't know what love is. And so this is Jonas discovering love. And then also asking his parents if they love him, and their answer highlights the dystopian element of this book. What is your favorite? Jonas asked the giver. You don't have to give it away yet, he added quickly. Just tell me about it so I can look forward to it because I'll have to receive it when your job is done. The giver smiled. Lie down, he said. I'm happy to give it to you. Jonas felt the joy of it as soon as the memory began. Sometimes it took a while for him to get his bearings, to find his place. But this time he fit right in and felt the happiness that pervaded the memory. He was in a room filled with people, and it was warm with firelight glowing on a hearth. He could see through a window that outside it was night and snowing. That's significant because the first memory that Jonas ever got was of sledding through the snow. There were colored lights, red and green and yellow, twinkling from a tree which was oddly inside the room. On a table, lighted candles stood in a polished golden holder the ca- and cast a soft flickering glow. He could smell things cooking and he heard soft laughter. A golden-haired dog lay sleeping on the floor. On the floor were packages wrapped in brightly colored paper and tied with gleaming ribbons. As Jonas watched, a small child began to pick up the packages and pass them around the room to other children, to adults who were obviously parents, and to an older, quite quiet couple, man and woman, who sat smiling together on a couch. While Jonas watched, the people began one by one to untie the ribbons on the packages and unwrap the bright papers, open the boxes, and reveal toys and clothing and books. There were cries of delight. They hugged one another. The small child went and sat on the lap of the old woman as she rocked him and rubbed her cheek against his. Jonas opened his eyes and lay contentedly on the bed, still luxuriating in a warm and comforting memory. It had all been there, all the things he had learned to treasure. What did you perceive, the giver asked. Warmth, Jonas replied, and happiness, and Let me think. Family. That it was a celebration of some sort, a holiday. And something else, I I can't quite get the word for it. It will come to you. Who were the old people? Why were they there? It had puzzled Jonas, seeing them in the room. The old of their community did not ever leave their special place, the house of the old, where they were so well cared for and respected. They were called grandparents. Grandparents? Grandparents. It means parents of the parents long ago. Back and back and back, Jonas began to laugh. So actually, there could be parents of the parents of the parents of the parents. The giver laughed too. That's right. It's a little like looking at yourself through a mirror and looking at yourself looking in a mirror. Jonas frowned. But my parents must have had parents. I never thought about it before. Who are my parent who are my parents of the parents? Where are they? You could go look in the hall of open records. You find names. But think, son. If you apply for children, then who will be the parents of the parents? Who will be their grandparents? My mother and father, of course. And where will they be? Jonas thought. Oh, he said slowly. When I finish my training and become a full adult, I'll be given my own dwelling. And then when Lily does, a few years later, she'll get her own dwelling. 
and maybe a spouse and children if she applies for them and then mother and father. That's right. As long as they're still working, contributing to the community, they'll go and live with the other with the other childless adults, and they won't be part of my life anymore. And after that, when the time comes, they'll go to the house of the old, Jonas went on. He was thinking aloud. And they'll be well cared for and respected, and when they are released, there will be a celebration. Which you won't attend, the giver pointed out. No, of course not, because I won't even know about it. By then, I'll be so busy with my own life, and Lily will too. So our children, if we have them, won't know who their parents of parents are either. It seems to work pretty well that way, doesn't it? The way that we do it in our community, Jonas asked. I just didn't realize there or was any other way until I received that memory. It works, the giver agreed. Jonas hesitated. I certainly liked the memory, though. I can see why it's your favorite. I couldn't quite get the word for the whole feeling of it, the feeling that was so strong in the room. Love, the giver told him. Jonas repeated it. Love. It was a word and concept new to him. Okay, so jumping forward about a page, um, I want to read a moment where Jonas asks his parents about love. Father? Mother? Jonas asked tentatively after the evening meal. I have a question I want to ask you. What is it, Jonas? His father asked. He made himself say the words, though he felt flushed with embarrassment. He had rehearsed them in his mind all the way home from the annex. Do you love me? There was an awkward silence for a moment. Then father gave a little chuckle. Jonas, you of all people, precision of language, please. What do you mean? Jonas asked. Amusement was not at all what he had anticipated. Your father means that you used a very generalized word, so meaningless that it's become almost obsolete, his mother explained carefully. Jonas stared at him. Meaningless? He had never before felt anything as meaningful as the memory. And of course, our community can't function smoothly if people don't use precise language. You could ask, do you enjoy me? The answer is yes, his mother said. Or, his father suggested, do you take pride in my accomplishments? And the answer is wholeheartedly yes. Do you understand why it's inappropriate to wor use a word like love? Mother asked. Jonas said, Yes, thank you, I do, he replied slowly. It was his first lie to his parents. Incredible book, incredible uh Imagery there, spooky in a way, heart-wrenching that you can grow up in a family and have pride from your parents and that they can enjoy you, but that there's something specific and there's something different about love. I recommend this book to everyone. Everyone that I've ever talked to about books or anything like that, I recommend this one too. It is The Giver by Lois Lowry. Make sure you go grab a copy. It, no finer fiction has ever been written. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you guys are inspired to go and read this book. Until next time, this has been Story Dose.